Don't forget to come over here. Strength. And I have learned how to use town portal. Very nice. Transports me back to town. Use T to use. And I have unlocked a skill category. Unlocked a rune for cleave. That sounds awesome. Anything else? Ancient spear. Not that big of a fan of ancient spear. Uh, it's very useful if I was in the arena. But of course I'm not. Rupture. Enemies slain by cleaves explode. How do I turn that down? How? You don't. You just do it. Uh, leap. Yeah, we looked at leap. I don't want leap. And ancient spear. Throw a spear at an enemy and pull them towards you. Sounds very good to me. Kind of. As you can see, it's straight like scorpion. Ready? Get over here! It is pretty cool. Yeah, back to the entrance of the current dungeon. This is also how town portals look. I probably won't be using town portals all that often, though. I do want to finish exploring this place, though. Apparently, I have busted enough graves for an achievement. Uh, I assume that that carried over from my last playthrough as well. Because I didn't bust that many this time. There were definitely more graves to be had than, is what, than what I have just done here, but I assume once again that everything just carries over from my previous run. I don't, to be honest, I don't think I like that. I, I think, I, is this a new one? This is a new one. So we'll fully explore this one. This is the last one, and then we'll actually move on with the plot. Damn. Tard shields, I don't even care. Ashes need to be destroyed, though. They cannot stand. As to the coffins. I do love how the coffins actually make like a wood sound when I destroy it. Like the sound you would make when uh, when wood actually hits the ground. It's kind of cool. Destroy the ashes, yes. Oh! Treasure Goblin! Here he is! Smack him! Stun him! Oh, he's immune to stun. Damn it. Get back here. This guy is apparently more powerful than all of the end of act bosses because he is immune to stun just keep following him I, I don't care just follow this guy ah he trapped himself in a corner not good look at what he drops some devious little goblins have been robbing our merchants when pursued they simply open portals and disappear with the most aggravating chuckle the peasantry seem to believe that the goblins serve a great demon lord known as greed <laughs> And furthermore, that their portals lead to Greed's domain. A ludicrous notion, truly. Yes, what he said. Uh, but you always want to chase them down. That is the moral of that story. Always chase them down. Because, as you saw, he dropped quite a lot of stuff. Including two... Nice. I'm going to keep the one I have. Better chance of magical items is always nice. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's an improvement. Um, yes. That's better. Ugh, I like the plus life though. I like the plus life. And we are getting close to when I would have to go back to do some more crafting. Ah, it's the loose stone. Do more crafting back in town. Because I'm almost full. And that's usually the time when I need to go back. It, not when I'm, you know, low on potions or anything like that. No, I'm almost full on inventory of, of magic items. Once again, I cannot speak for other job classes. and Maybe it's, it's more difficult with... Oh, you caused, caused me to run in terror. Ten killed with one blow. Oh, I think that explosion causes... Like, splash damage. That's awesome. Of the bear... Isn't bear plus life? Yeah, it is plus life. No. Grotesque! Oh, I should have two shy them. Alright, there he goes. Back to hell, dog. What, do those count as three or something? I didn't kill seven with one blow there. I guess I won't complain, but... God. I love how how powerful this this game does make me feel. I won't always feel that throughout this game. I'll spoil that right now. But I do like how powerful it makes me feel right now. 
knockback. Ah, damn it. Stun. I don't think the Abyss Worms are are given stun when are, are given the the upgrades that their that their parent or whatever you want to say does. And that's it for for this place. So back to the entrance. Back to the waypoint. And back to town. Now we have to talk to the blacksmith yet again. You found the crown. Truth be told, I didn't think you'd make it back alive. Ah, it needs repair. Should be no problem. It's good to work again. You've been working for me this yeah. entire time. New as the day it was placed upon the Black King's head. I need something more than making spades to occupy my mind. I want my life to mean something. Then follow me and hone your skills. There is deadly work to be done, and I will need your arms. And I have reached a new checkpoint. Uh, I can now craft from him again, so let me take care of that off screen because, if you, as you remember, I have a lot to do with that. Okay, so I have, well, crafted everything. I did get a couple new things. I got these magic pants uh, that he did craft for me, and I got these magic bracers also that he crafted for me. Plus, four intelligence isn't the best for my character, but I will take what I can get. Plus, the, the magic find is always nice. Uh, one thing I should also point out is that my stash also transfers between characters. As you can see, I stored some stuff in here that I there's no way I could even use. How would I find it? Plus all these gems. We'll go over gems later. So there's my black mushroom hiding in there. Um, I can buy more slots as well. I shouldn't need them just yet. Uh, but that kind of makes me mad that I can just level up a character on one in one run through and then just give all his hard-earned work to another character. I, I mean, I guess I get it, but it doesn't... I don't know, it feels kind of cheap if you're doing it the second time around. Deckard, you have something to say. Leoric's crown has been reforged. Oh, right. Ah, at last. With it, you can unlock the sealed door in the room where you rescued me and enter the royal crypts. When you find the skeleton king, place the crown atop his head and destroy him. I will crush him and find the fallen star. Damn right, we will. Use the... Okay, so head to the Chris Cathedral Garden. Let's head there. And we need to head into Leoric's Passage. We've kind of already explored this place, but, you know, it's not big. We might as well explore this area again. Stump! You have nothing for me. Uh, so, once again, yeah... I guess I could understand, hey, I already went through all this effort, why should I have to go through all this effort again? But at the same point, like, if I were to have played this game and then give it to somebody else or let somebody else use my name, then they have all my hard-earned work. You know what I mean? That's kind of how it feels like to me. Whatever. Let's head into the Arts Passage. Is there still stuff for us to destroy here? Now, I think I said before, at, at this point, like right here, that you would see blue and white ribbons on the scrolls. I clearly meant blue and red. Sorry about that. Don't know Well, I was looking at blue and white scrolls, but they're blue and red. Obviously meant to be the town portal scroll. And then, identify. As far as I remember, we don't ever need... No, we do need to identify from time to time in this, in this game as well, from what I remember. The yellow ones we need to identify. Let's go in through the ornate door. We could not have gone through this before. This is actually the end of the demo, this quest. Uh, so a lot of people base their opinions on the game on the demo itself, which blows my mind considering how short the demo was. I think I beat it in one sitting. You know what I mean? The first time that I played it. So, I, I knew better than to try to judge everything that I knew about the game based on that little bit of an exposure. Uh, I, I just based it on, like, oh, so that's how the game starts. <laughs> the game is much longer than this. 
I'm not even close to done, of course. We got four acts to go through. I did look it up. There are four acts. Uh, maybe we'll get a fifth with the expansion. Maybe they'll bring in more classes, too. Really, I don't know. I can only base it on what I've seen in the past. Everything needs to die. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, do I even need to, like, try? Probably not. Ah, I picked something up. That's right. Kill this guy. He's summoning more. Not that it's that difficult. I guess you could grind on that guy. You know, just uh, just let him spawn as many people as you want. And just keep on killing them and leave him alone so you can get some level grinding in. But, like I said, I shouldn't need to level grind. So I'm going to avoid it as much as I can. I figured something was going to happen here. What? What is this? Unburied! Damn you. Now I can kick your ass. There you go. Did you have fun with that? <laughs> oh god, I love, I love being able to stun. Uh, that's really what makes uh, the Barbarian something similar to a tank. Once again, not pure tank, but similar. Oh, how dare you knock me back. You need to die. You can die as well. And I'll take that targe shield, even though it's probably not that. Well, I'm not going to be using shields. Uh, you can, I can actually craft a shield with 88 defense. What's the shield that I've got? Pick, give me 54. Gives me magic fine though. That's kind of cool. But no, no, I am a dual weapon barbarian. You cannot convince me different. It's actually the build that I like the best because I do a ton of offense and then I can heal myself with my offense. I love that. Why do I even need... What's defense for then? I can just heal constantly. Well, you know, we're not doing that much healing right now, but that's the general idea down the line. Oh! Special! Burn to a cinder! Down you go, though. Did you have fun with that? And then you can explode. I think I do need to stay away while he explodes. I did it just in case. <laughs> Not sure. God, I'm one-shotting everything. Already? Still? I don't know. At what point of the game am I supposed to be one-shotting things? At the beginning? At the end? Wooden barricade! I do not care for it. And I got two more kills based on that. Very nice. Unburied! Oh, the, the cathedral, by the way, is going to be huge. Uh, so I'm going to... I have no idea which way I need to go. I'm just going to do my best guess. And then we'll, we'll backtrack after that. And I apologize, but there is going to be backtracking from time to time. And hopefully... I can think of something to say while we backtrack. Oh, snap. I went the wrong way. Because there they are telling me, finally, which way I need to go. I don't know if that's been there the whole time. I don't think it has. So I will go back. And we'll head back this way. Once we are done on the other side. I would prefer if there was some kind of dash here. But I understand why they, would take th they wouldn't do that. I don't want to say take it out. Although, to be honest, that it was in Diablo 2 a little. But we were, we were going roughly this speed in Diablo 2 when we ran. Yeah, maybe a little bit faster? Treasure Bandit! How did I not see you? Down he goes. Always have to get the bandit. And I'm picking up all the stuff here, too. Because that's how much I care about these two guardians. Oh, there were three of them? I thought only two. Everybody come to me so you can die. God. Uh, wands. I don't even think the wands are worth selling. Yeah, they're not worth selling. Nothing. Nothing is worth selling. Oh. Huh. Five to life after each kill. No, I'm still going for the per kill. I, I, I do very well with the per kill. Because right now... 1.2% of my health is not the same as 5 per kill when I'm one-shotting like three things in one in one sweep of a cleave. So I'll stick with this for now. You did see that the uh, yellow arrow was pointing us down to uh, the east. 
kind of like the southeast over there. That's why I'm heading this way. I don't know if I clarified that enough. Get the, get the summoner, the spawner, whatever you want to call him. Down he goes. And here we can get another book. Ooh, Lactanen again. When we returned from our horrific defeat in Westmarch, my beloved king lost all pretense of sanity. He seethed with rage, spitting curses upon us as traitors. With great sorrow, I ran him through. Oh, snap. You don't really beat around the bush. Was there something here? Just so he ran him through. Die, barricade! Anything back here? No, that's where I already was. Or, no, I can't go there. I wasn't there yet, but I can't. All right, don't need to heal. I'm already at full health. So let's just move on, head to the path that they told us to go. I think there are four floors to the cathedral. It is here for a while. I do actually really like that they do have so much here uh, that you can't go to. Here is the hole where the fallen star went. Um, the, it, it will be on every floor, at least at some point in the floor. There's something spawning over here, but I don't see it yet, so I'm going to keep looting. Give me the gold, even though I, I have no use for it at this point. I will use it eventually to level up my blacksmith, I think. Um, I'm not sure, though. He might be as full on level ups as he requires. Shield bearer. I don't care about your shield. Did you see that shield spin? That was awesome. Oh, I love... I love what happens after things die in this game. <laughs> that's a, that's attention to detail that you don't see very often in games. Usually when, when something dies, the, it either just completely ragdolls or sometimes it disappears. Whenever they do something like this where it flies, I like that. I like that. Even though I still can't like interact with them right now, having them do something in death, I do appreciate that. I don't know, maybe I'm just out, I'm, I'm out of date and I'm impressed by things that every game does these days, but I notice it. I notice it. Who we got here? Knockback again. So stun him. I hit somebody behind me because that's how much cleave has on range. And yes, they all have knockback on them. All his minions. Uh, they, they call them like elite minions or something like that. I don't care. You can just spawn shit all day, and I will defeat it. Tomb Guardians, you are nothing compared to me. How dare you even try? <laughs> oh god! Duh. Get over here so I can kill you. I probably should try to use the hammer more often. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of it. I'm used to something that requires a lot more fury than the hammer, and does a lot more damage. We'll get there. Part four? Part four. I will forever live in anguish for my last attempt to honor my king. As we lay him to rest in his burial chamber, he manifested as a hideous skeletal demon. Gorash and my other knights were overcome at once, but I fought on. Good for you, Lactanen. So he killed them, and then he came back as a skeleton, and then Aiden killed him. Hmm. Oh, thick bracers over there. Don't care about your thick bracers. I care about destroying barrels and the barricade and everything. And this is the path down yet again. Like I said, I think there's four floors to the cathedral. But I don't know if that changes. Once again, you know, I've well, this part I've gone through twice. <laughs> I went through it once with the demo. I went through it again uh, with the other playthrough. So this is my third time through it. Uh, give aid to the warrior! It is about time. Let's pick up the exceptional club in the high belt just in case. There's a warrior. Nope. Die. Most yes! Help the warrior! What was your mission? 